It's the day many have been waiting for all year, where stars come back to reclaim their trophy, and others aspire to win the coveted prize. And no matter what the outcome, there's one thing for certain, that is, it's for a worthy cause. Hello and welcome to the 30th Annual Hawthorne Parks and Recreation Foundation Golf Tournament. I'm Jennifer Murillo. We're here at the Industry Hills Golf Club in the City of Industry, just 34 miles out of Hawthorne. 75 players have come out to have a great day on the green, so let's get started. Before the start of the tournament, some golfers headed to the putting green to compete for a chance to win the first prize of the day. Well, the putting contest, you know, it's a one-shot deal and uh, closest to the pin wins a uh, Chevron gas credit card. Actually, putting is probably my forte in golf. The rest of the game is pretty loose, but I do a lot of practice in, in putting. Oh! I just got a hole in one, so if someone else gets a hole in one, then we'll have a playoff. While not very common to get a hole in one, players came in hot as two players were victorious and headed into a playoff. There was no trick at all. It was just uh, looking at how the break was from the other players and playing on the same line. <laughs> the winner won by an inch and all headed to their carts to start the scramble. The Industry Hills Golf Club is 650 acres comprised of two 18-hole courses. The tournament is returning for the second year in a row, but this time around playing on the Eisenhower course, also known as the Ike. There's actually two 18-hole regulation courses here. Uh, we're playing on the harder of the two. Um, it's actually used for qualifying for the LA Open, so it's going to be some challenging uh, golf today. The Ike is uh, beautiful. It's wide open and fairly flat, so usually you know you may not be able to hit where you're trying, but you know where to try to hit. This golf club is part of the Pacific Palms Resort, and while playing on Ike, you get amazing views of the San Gabriel Valley and a couple of beautiful fountains and ponds. It's actually the preferred course by most golfers. The Ike course at Industry Hills is a very challenging course. It's got all kinds of terrain to it, there's a lot of contours, there's nothing that's level, there's tree lines, and it's a challenge, it's a good challenge of golf, so it's a tough round, but it's fun. This public golf club has been around for over 25 years, and though the layout and history remains unchanged, guests can enjoy these links in better conditions than they've ever been before. The course is great, the greens are great, the course is in immaculate condition, um, beautiful day to be out here playing golf. Fairways are perfect, it's, it's, it's nice. And they have real sand traps, we're not hitting off of mud, so it's nice. The price value is incredible because these courses were named best public courses in the United States a number of years ago, very best in the United States, but they're not priced at all like the three, four, five hundred dollar courses along the water. Though this turf is hillier than the Babe course, many players said they're enjoying the challenge. This one's a little longer, so it's a little harder, so uh, maybe that's why our scores aren't quite so good. The course is, is tough, I mean it's not an easy course, but um, I think we're managing to hold our own so far, so we're hanging in there. It's very hard, it's, but it's nice, very beautiful, open, but uh, losing a lot of balls. The players don't just come for a day of fun. Every year the money raised from the tournament benefits a good cause. The proceeds from this year's tournament will be used to replace the dance room floor in the Betty Ainsworth Sports Center. The Betty Ainsworth was uh, created, built in, in the year 2000, uh, and the floors are in dire need of replacement. Our dance floors there uh, house many activities for the youth in Hawthorne, and by, getting us, by us gaining a new floor, we'll have greater participation. We hope it will be unrecognizable from the old one. I mean, the, the plan is it's just going to be a brand new shiny thing. I mean, we just couldn't use it anymore, you know, it's all warped and, and beaten down. Many that attend year after year say they partake in the tournament because they like to support the foundation's worthy cause. We love being there. We love to be good neighbors. We love to support the Parks and Recs Department and everything that's good about Hawthorne. Anything that's going to help kids is uh, nothing but positive. It's good to see where our money's going. 
And it's very inspiring for me just to see the, the many people and the donations and just everybody coming together to help out. Thanks to the players and the generous sponsors, the foundation has been able to continue the tournament for three decades. It's just amazing that we've been able to hold this thing together. Continuing sponsors coming back, we're so grateful to all of them. And I'd like to commend those members over 30 years, uh, creating a great product that we can have every year. And if you haven't played with us, come out next year. It's been a tough terrain today out here, but the players aren't giving up. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as I go catch up with some more players. Been some fun things out there. Um, we haven't had an easy go at it at all, but we still love it. We love the challenge. Well, I hope our team wins. That's for sure. <laughs> pretty good, yeah. Par, bogey, so pretty much even. We've got a few more holes, so we got some more birdies out there to, to pick up. Whether they're doing good or not, they've all kept a positive attitude. It was a little exhausting uh, just because it's my first time uh, out playing a full course, so I didn't have the stamina, but it was, it was a lot of fun. I'm not a great golfer, but I always have fun when I come out. I don't get angry. <laughs> All the participants have a chance to win this beautiful car. All they need to do is get that elusive hole-in-one. In addition to having a chance at the two-year lease on the Mustang, at various holes, players had an opportunity to win several prizes, such as closest to the pin, most accurate, and longest drive. You know, there's some, a uh, couple people that haven't played a lot of golf, and I think they're a little nervous, but most people who play in our tournament have uh, played or play quite a bit. Uh, I think it'll be a real challenge. We're doing really, really well, actually, I think. Well, no, we'll see when we get back there. Once again, no one won the car. It's been a very fun and eventful day. Let's head into the banquet to find out who the winners are. The tournament's most honest award went to Mogul Hospitality Team. Third place went to Sears Lumber Number no. 3. Second place to Hawthorne PD Association. And the first place went to... But with a score of 59, first place, once again, Pat Hughes, Gary Bonnet, Rob Kay, and Charlie Merrick. Come on up here. The winners dominated the course with scores of 63, 62 and 59 points. Tournament participants all had a final chance to win some other prizes during a raffle, some in which got lucky and took home more than one. Here's the leaderboard with the final results. Congratulations to all the winners at the 30th Annual Hawthorne Parks and Recreation Foundation Golf Tournament. The foundation had a very successful day, raising about $13,000. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jennifer Murillo. We'll see you next year.